see that there was like a pie shaped building. There's kind of a pie shaped building. Oh, oh yes, I know that. Road. There's a couple of blocks past that. Let's go back here. Let's go back here. You'll have to excuse the junk. I've got red junk everywhere. No, we're not going in the truck. We have to fix the truck up. Now, I remember Mrs. Smith always had irises here. No, I, I, they were in that same iris when we moved in. Oh, like really? Irises. They were along the edge there. They were by the same And one. they had these big Cadillacs in the, in the carport. Cadillacs? Yeah, it? he worked for a car company, and yeah, they always Mercury. traded up. Yeah, come on, get one. And this was not closed in. This was all open. It was a big patio. And we would play. Oh, really? Becky and I would play orphanage. Yeah, well, they closed it orphanage, orphanage, orphanage because she was adopted, and so that was That's my, my study. In here. Oh wow! I know, and closed it because it had doors. So oh my in word! Sliding doors like patio doors, you know. Oh, look at this! Wow, it's so much smaller. Smaller. We used huh? to play football back here. It was all open. Yeah, well, that. And Larry that would stand that. down there by the basement door. He would kick that football and really? we would play tackle football. <laughs> yeah, see this was the stairs went up there and then that was just the a patio. patio. Well that that must have been when after they enclosed that they must have built the patio here. There was a yeah, that was none of that was there. Uh, patio enclosed and then I had a shed built here. So oh I, I see. Uh, I need to, I need to. Wow. <laughs> Wow. We've since made a, a little apartment down here. Uh, that was the basement. Yeah, yeah. Becky and I would... Oh, this door wasn't here before. It no. was just that door. Yeah, this is the apartment. We made a little apartment Oh, here. so you've got somebody renting? No. Well, we did. Uh, we, we first, when we first moved in, Robbie lived there for a couple of years. Oh. And then he, he moved out on his own. He didn't want to live with his mother anymore. <laughs> wow, what is this, this tree? That's a red bud. A red bud? Really? Yeah. It's a bean. You didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, it's a bean. Well, you know, now this was all a big square. It was all open, and Becky and I would go down to the creek. So we've got to go to the creek, okay? Well, I don't know if you can get all the way there. <laughs> yeah, this is all ivy has come in. And oh, boy. I, I've things been have battling changed. the ivy and the wisteria, and we had huge pine trees back here. And back in uh, 71, the be uh, lightning struck one of the trees and beetles got in. Now we used to, we used to pile up our pine straw right there. Oh, really? Behind where this old, there was a pine tree there, I guess. Yeah. We would pile it up there and we had all of our pine cones behind our big pine straw wall. Oh, really? And we'd have a war. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'd throw pine cones at each other. Yeah. I remember this. Yeah. This is the path. Yeah, it's still there, but it's kind of boy. We uh, once they cut the pine trees down, uh, a whole lot of small uh, undergrowth. Yeah, it just sprung up. So I just like uh, be careful. This is gonna stick down here. Hold on. Yeah, that's what hey. I need to do. Uh oh, oh Sally. <laughs> Good old Sally. Boy, look at how big this pine tree got. Slippery here. You have to hold on to these branches. Wow. That got huge. Yeah. My word, they were, this wasn't, it wasn't even that big when we were here. Well, it, it, You're not coming down? Why not? <laughs> he saw the tick I picked up, Sally. Oh, okay. <laughs> you have to watch out. Well, I'll de-tick later. Well, I, uh... Oh, look, there's another person's backyard right well, there. Well, no, they just, uh, uh, my backyard goes... See that little tree is behind that pile? My property goes to at least there. 
and they had a whole bunch of stuff growing along the creek, and they just cut it and dumped it on my place, so I, I don't. No, but I mean, the neighbors, that's their own property where they've yeah. got the fence. Yeah, oh yeah, where they have the fence, yeah. And I, I, I checked it out where my property went, and uh, it, it doesn't go quite to the creek in some places. Oh, wow, this is... The the gully is much deeper than it was before. Oh really? Yeah, it wasn't like this. It oh. was it was just down a foot or two. Oh. This has really changed. Yeah, it it uh, there's usually there's always water in it, but sometimes it's, it's running uh, strong now. It's, like it's, it's quite running. clear compared to usual. Yeah. We used to catch there. crawdads in here. Huh? We used to catch crawdads. Really? Yeah, and we would um, we would try and undam it. We would clear it out and make yeah. it run really fast. Yeah. And then sometimes we'd dam it up and make a little pool. <laughs> Becky and I, we had a wonderful life down here. Yeah. This is where we spend every afternoon after school. <laughs> I had a one of this after. Uh, a couple of years after the prices were first cut down, I had a heck of a time. Uh oh, look at this. Now, is this poke salad by Sally? Pardon me? Is that poke salad? Yeah, this is. Yeah, yeah I thought so. Poke weed. Poke weed. Have you ever had it? Have you ever eaten it? No, I've just heard about it. It's a, a photo What's that, man? That was uh, really uh, overgrown with. Uh, Growing up. Yeah, this Mostly, uh, Sally, will you quit it now? Uh, it's a lot of um, uh, tulip poplar and uh, mo mo mostly tulip poplar and a few uh, looks like uh, maples, uh, uh, red maples. Or something. Here's a see. Here's a natural little swamp area here. It's a seep. It comes out of the ground because uh, what happens is the water goes down through the soil until it hits a bedrock and then it you know goes sideways. So I have a little seep here that's wet most of the time. Hmm. Even during the drought, it was kind of wet. Sally, get out of here. I've got some stuff so you still have to hold on a little bit. But I can't believe the size of these pine trees. They were amazing. They were huge. And the beetles got in there, so I have to put them down, unfortunately. I got a good deal. Uh, There's a guy, uh, uh, a logger that. Uh, Sally! Look at you now, look what you did. <laughs> you can go along. I got a little stuff. Sometimes you have to hold on still. So. You made these steps? Yeah, I kept slipping on that, so I decided to put Yeah.
was in the office. Now he was back to get some full log. He only charged me fifty dollars a piece to cut him down. <laughs> hauled him away and hauled all hauled most of the brush away too. You know the branches. Boy, that's quite different down here now. Yeah, there, there were huge trees here, and like this one here was a, an oak tree, and they they had promised to uh, just take the pines out, and uh, it had these huge wisteria vines on it. Oh. And so when they cut the pine tree over here. It pulled that tree down too. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's strong as wisteria. Wow. wow. Oh, that's terrible. I've been battling wisteria for ever since I've gotten it. Uh -oh. Here's another tick. Look at me. Just look at me. Oh no, that's an ant. That's an ant. I found one on my leg a minute ago. Oh yeah, see, I, I've got one here. My, I got, usually I carry a vial. See? See between my fingers? Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> I just flicked them. Yeah. So I like to. I'm gonna. I'm, gonna, I'm making a tick drag so I can see if I can get rid of some of them. What's a tick drag? A tick drag is a piece of white flannel cloth, and uh, you uh, kind of put a little stick on one end and another stick on the other end, and attach it to a stick, and just drag it, and uh, they they latch on. Oh. And then you can see them and pick oh. them off and put them in a vial of vodka. <laughs> a vial of vodka? No, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, the I remember when the Mowers lived there. What's that? I remember when the Mowers lived there, and oh. then they built that that um, sliding doors. That was a new thing. Oh yeah. It was a new addition, and they had oh, okay. somebody renting it, I think. Oh, how about that? Somebody moved in here after the Mowers. I know when we moved in, there was a, a lady named uh, a, a lady named Clot, C L O T Z, hmm. and her daughter lived here, Celia. Hey. Well, thank you very much for this amazing tour. Yeah. Willem, do I have any ticks on me? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. I picked Can several. You just see. You just see them. You pick some of you. I see some. Yeah, I think so. At least it looked like a bug. <laughs> Where? Right oh, you're still holding them? Yeah, I'm going to put them in a vial. I don't let them get away. <laughs> That's because you're an entomologist, I right? I hate them. Oh, look, I'm getting bitten by a mosquito. <laughs> Wonderful. I want to get mosquito bites so there I can are. find out if they bump up. <laughs> I used to bump up by mosquitoes years ago. I moved to Canada and I never bumped up again. Well, you know, so I want to know if it's... your time, we have a new mosquito here it's called the Asian tiger mosquito. Oh. It's a little tiny mosquito. Like this one? He's just a pretty regular mosquito. He's pretty, he's got, he's sort of black and white. Yep. It's probably, it's a little big, but I'd kill it if I were you. <laughs> You're a bad experiment. Well, these darn little Asian tiger mosquitoes, they bite, they, they, the military brought them here from Japan. What for? Well, they, because they thought, they, they thought they could get away with it. I mean, they, they brought tires. They had a, a vehicle depot, you know, uh -huh. and they had all these tires out there. And so they brought the tires back, and of course, being military, they didn't have to go through forest. You know, and that's what security property, you know, we don't do. So they brought all these damn things back, and these uh, Asian tiger mosquitoes have been uh, selected for years and years in the rice paddies. And you, they'll bite you, you don't even know it. I mean, you can't feel it. No, I can't feel it at all. And, and then, about five minutes later, boy, you start itching. That's how you know you've been bitten. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Yeah. And they bite during this time of day, see? He's still holding on. Really? Yep. Uh, I don't know. I get itchy. So you call them an Asian tiger mosquito? Yeah. I think several things look like ticks. Like a tiny little tiger. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. With legs. Legs in all directions. Yeah. Yeah, we went away over my pants, over my legs. I don't think you heard any now. Here, stand up and turn around. I'll look at the back of you. Okay. 
stand up. Lift your pants down. Okay, turn around. Arms up. Yeah. These ticks that I you know, bad thing about these ticks is that uh, they carry ehrlichiosis. They carry what? Ehrlichiosis. Is, is that Lyme, Lyme disease? disease? No, no, it's not that bad. Um, oh, so they don't have Lyme disease? No. Uh, that, at least not here so far. Oh, I thought that the deer ticks with the white yeah. dot on them. Well, Lone Star ticks. They're the ones that carry uh, ehrlichiosis. It's a rickettsial disease. It's a uh, rickettsia, a very uh, special type of small bacteria with flagella on them. For what? Flagella, you know, little, little wavy. Okay. Little and, tail, they move. Yeah, little thing, they move. Yeah. And uh, the the condition is like you get, you kind of like feel fluey, you know, you're just muscle achy and, and joint achy. And is, do they make a, um, a bullseye? No. And, and what do you uh, take for them? Doxycycline? Yeah, and it clears it up. But uh, you still, it's a pain in the butt. And I've had it. This is the third time I've gotten it. And you don't, you don't really get an immunity to it. The first year I got it, it's about three years ago. I didn't know what it was. I just felt bad and bad and kept on getting worse. And after a while, I you got one right here. Let me see. Don't. Just don't forget. Yep. Is that one? Boy, he's tiny. Yeah, some of them are tiny. That's a little one. That's a little nymph. I think it's still a fool in the ground here now. Okay. I, uh, That's why I try not to ever wear dark clothes when I go in the woods because yeah. I want to be able to see if I got any. So anyway, the, you get muscle aches and joint aches. And I, I didn't do anything for like a couple of months. I get so bad I couldn't walk my miles. So I finally get, went to the doctor and he gave me this doxycycline. Cycling, and and uh, it got rid of it and you didn't oh, have... Yeah. Um, then I got... You get limited immunity for about a year or two. I see. But the last time I got it, last year, I went right away, cleared it up, but I didn't get immunity because I got it again this year. And what was the name of that tick? Well, it's the Lone Star tick, and Lone the condition Star. is ehrlichiosis. Ehrlichiosis. Yeah, like Paul You're going to remember that for me, Willie? No. Ehrlich. Ehrlichiosis. Early like early, er morning, early, early morning, morning, early morning, early morning, Paul Ehrlich. Early you know? morning, you, you, you get your Lick. key in the car and... <laughs> what? And, uh, so, so, osis. So, osis is a disease. So that's what osis I can remember. Uh, osis or itis, whatever. But anyway, that's that's what. The, I think you think you're okay the, there. These these ticks I think are carried by rabbits. We have rabbits all. We have deer here, rabbits. I've seen a coyote uh, last this year twice. Uh, foxes. Last year I've seen foxes. So we're mm. we got plenty of things. That's a good one. But, wow. Uh, anyway, that's that's the wilds in my backyard. Now what's this guy? This is a jumping spider? Yes. Yes. He does. <laughs> little one. I try and study so, so my so books. Those are the ones that are jump on They just jump. Stuff and well, that, yeah, he's a little small for a wasp, but yeah, they little flies jump and things. Jump at things. Well, so yeah. There was a, was a story I read. It was a, I think it was a... Uh, I love to be editor on Nature magazine. Yeah, yeah. And uh, do, does anything eat wasps? And a tale story came in. There was this wasp, and it was a little spider at the bottom of him. Yeah. And the wasp tried to wriggle and get the spider off, couldn't do it. And yeah. a little later, checked back at the same spot, there was a wasp totally died, dried up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. They'll do it. They, they, they jump pretty use good. Use them. <laughs> Well, thank you, Walter. Okay. Yeah, thank you, very. So we're, so we're headed out tomorrow. Oh. So we, um, Mom will be on her own. <laughs>